listen, I thought to start out with, um, you were recently at the Lincoln Day dinner, and we appreciated you being a part of that. But you talked about uh, you served as the youngest U.S. attorney in the country, and you talked about navigating a hostage crisis in that role. So can you talk a little bit about how your time as a U.S. attorney really shaped your career in public service? You've been in a lot of different areas, but I thought that was fascinating. Well, it's, it's really important today. Uh, I mean, yesterday, as many of you saw on the national news, another smash and grab theft in, a, I believe it was a Nordstrom store in California. And I'm, for one, tired of this. Uh, it is a disregard, a disregard of the rule of law in our country. It uh, is almost close to anarchy. And it concerns whether you live in Iowa or whether you live in California, this type of lawlessness is not what America is about. And so I go back to my days as United States Attorney, a federal prosecutor, and we had a terrorist group in northern Arkansas, and uh, we were not going to let them commit acts of violence without confronting the law. We didn't ignore it. Now, it surprised me that uh, we had an armed encampment and the FBI uh, summoned, summoned me, they sent a plane for me and said, we need you up here in the hills of Arkansas because the leader of the terrorist organization refuses to surrender and uh, come out. And so I got up there and uh, got out of the vehicle and they threw me a bulletproof vest and said, you might need this. And I'm thinking, this is not why I went to law school. <laughs> but uh, three days of negotiation, I was in the Ford uh, uh, location, uh, assisting the negotiation. They surrendered. I prosecuted them on racketeering charges and uh, convicted them and sent them to prison. Uh, but that was my time as United States Attorney. It also is relevant because of the issues that we face with fentanyl today. Yeah. And every generation faces a challenge with uh, drug use, and I faced that during the Reagan administration, and we went after the supply. Uh, we went after the dealers in our community, and we also understood the importance of educating. And I want to applaud you, Governor Reynolds, Kim, for you having the fentanyl conference yeah. there that I attended, yeah. and you brought parents in, and you educated the community on the risk yeah. where you can buy. Yes, please give it a round of applause. You were there. It's so important. That's such an important component of it. And so that's my history. The rule of law is important to me, and uh, that is a priority that I will have as President of the United States to enforce the law again, whether it's in our cities or whether it is on the border of the United States, let's enforce the law.